So there's been a lot of improvements made of late along the Princess Anne Street corridor in Fredericksburg. And today we're here at the Kenmore Inn to show you some of the improvements that have been made here at this beautiful property. All right, so we're here with Biz Mitchell Frazier uh, at the Kenmore Inn. Uh, Biz works in guest services here at the Kenmore Inn, and uh, Biz invited us over to, uh, to tell us about some of the improvements that have been made uh, of late uh, here to this beautiful and historic property. Um, so why don't you just start off, Biz, by telling us a little bit about the history of the building and, uh, sure. and the inn. Sure, yes, thank you for being here at the yeah. Kenmore Inn. Um, so we're standing right now in the foyer of the, the Kenmore Inn. Um, it is a 18th century building and um, was home to many prestigious Virginia families over the years. And in 1932, James T. Horton purchased the property and turned it into an inn, which was called the Kenmore Tavern. Um, and so it has been the longest operating inn in the city of Fredericksburg. So that's really exciting. The current owner, um, who purchased it in 2001, has been making lots of improvements over the years, structurally as well as um, physically. So we just wanted to show you some of those improvements. We're standing in the Fielding Lewis Ballroom, and um, Fielding Lewis was a wealthy merchant of the city, so this is a little nod to him. And um, uh, basically, this is a brand new room that was added on to the back of the inn, where we're standing is the original brick wall. Um, the tin ceilings were added, as well as the columns, white oak floor with the walnut inlays as well. Um, we also were able to add the beautiful chandeliers and uh, the curtains to let in lots of sunlight um, because we host uh, lots of uh, parties here, wedding receptions, uh, ceremonies, um, but it is because it's new we were able to add some state-of-the-art uh, audio visual options so that you can have um, your meetings here as well. So I had mentioned Fielding Lewis prior downstairs, the ballroom, um, but the Washingtons um, married into the Fielding Lewis family and uh, Betty Washington was his second wife and sister to George. Um, so we sort of pay homage to George and uh, Betty with this Washington suite. Some of the improvements that we have done throughout the nine guest bedrooms um, are the uh, handmade curtains here. Um, we've got some beautiful luxury bedding. Um, everything has been repainted and we've got um, some beautiful new bathrooms as well to show off to you. This is one of the favorite rooms for the bride and the groom to, to stay here, but also for the uh, bride, bridal party to get ready. We have a beautiful little ante room just behind us um, that we'd like to show you where, uh, where the bridal party can get ready before they walk down the aisle. Yeah. All right, so we're here on the front porch of the Kenmore Inn. I understand, Biz, you've recently started doing a Sunday brunch out here, so uh, yeah. why don't you tell us about that and some of the other things that you regularly do here at the Inn. Sure. We taught ourselves on having one of the best Sunday brunches in town, and um, yes, we are starting to do that on our newly renovated porch and um, in our main dining room here. Um, Sundays from 11 to 2.30 every Sunday. Um, we also have been bringing back our happy hour every night. So we're open um, from Tuesday to Saturdays, 4.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. in our bar um, as well. Uh, we've got our live music every Thursday night. And then uh, we brought back our wine dinner, all very exciting things that we have relaunched yeah. here. Great. So a lot of reasons to come to the Kenmore Inn, both from people who are out of town and in town. So be sure to um, come by and check out this beautiful property here at yeah. 1200 Princess Anne Street in uh, downtown Fredericksburg. And thank Biz, you, thanks for taking the time thank to talk you. to us today. Thank you so much. Okay. It's my pleasure. Right. Thank yeah. you for coming. Right. Thank you. All right. So thanks to Biz for showing us around the Kenmore Inn. Uh, that'll do it for this week's edition. Uh, next week, we're going to go over to the Sophia Street Studios and tell you about a pottery throwdown event that they have coming up. So we'll see you then. Thanks for watching.